Finding a sheltered place to park a ship off Antarctica can be a problem, but not on this occasion. Running the nose of the 12,000 tonne Russian research vessel up against the glacier gives the scientists on board the perfect platform to carry out their work. This has to be one of the most extraordinary places on the planet. I am on the edge of Antarctica and what you see behind me is the Mertz Glacier. This glacier runs from the East Antarctic Plateau right down to the sea. And when it reaches the sea, the glacier comes out 40 kilometers over the ocean to where we are here. Scientists are fascinated by this particular glacier because in 2010 an enormous chunk around 75 by 35 kilometers broke off after it was nudged by another larger iceberg. Using this five million dollar robotic submarine, the scientists had hoped to look at what they thought would be a vertical wall of ice dropping 500 meters from the surface. But to their surprise, the team discovered a huge underwater cavern beneath the glacier. The seawater was warmer than they'd expected and there was surprising evidence of melt. So we went really close to the ice and discovered that it was kind of a really rotten ice. Everything was kind of melting away, a lot of uh, kind of holes in the ice and um, yeah, completely rotten. We were not expecting that on the glacier really and especially not at this depth and kind of so far into the glacier. The discovery is consistent with other findings in this part of Antarctica. Scientists have found warm ocean currents are now flowing further south, resulting in increased glacial melt. This team are keen to know what effect this is having on life on the sea floor and deploy the submarine again. Here, at a depth of 900 metres, they have a rare opportunity to take samples and observe a wide variety of cold water species. To have the capacity to take those sorts of images and collect specimens and know exactly where they came from is amazing and to witness the behaviour at the same time, the beautiful moment where the Holofurian, the sea cucumber was dancing. In, in such an unexplored environment everything is of interest. The samples will now be taken back to the scientists' labs. Numerous tests, including DNA analysis, will be carried out to create a map of this rich and diverse marine environment. The Southern Ocean produces a large part of the nutrients that support life in the rest of the world's oceans. Changes here will affect us all. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Mertz Glacier, East Antarctica.